would like to start by acknowledging that we are on the traditional territories of the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee, and the Anishinaabe people, whose presence continues here to this day. We would also like to acknowledge that we are on the treaty lands of the Mississauga of the Credit and thank them and other Indigenous people for sharing this land with us. We would also like to acknowledge the Chippewas or Georgina Island First Nation as our closest Indigenous community and partners in education. Thank you. What? I can't sing? You know this is music class, right? Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, students, parents, families, friends, staff. Thank you so much for joining us for the Huron Heights Secondary School Sounds of the Season for 2020. And of course, the sounds of this season are a little bit different than we're used to. However, True to Huron fashion, the students and the staff have stepped up. And what a task it's been to put a show like this together. I want to thank all the music teachers, Mr. Sue, Mr. Goddard, Ms. Charters, Mr. Nagy, and everyone else that's been involved with this uh, program and putting this together. Because really, arts education is so important. And parents, thank you so much for supporting your children in the arts. Because when they talk about innovation and creativity and trying to figure out how to work and live and play in this type of environment. Well, I'm going to tell you that it's arts education that helps bring that thinking uh, to the forefront. Anyway, once again, I want to say thank you. Enjoy the rest of this evening. Enjoy the show. Students, we're very proud of you and proud of your efforts because really playing together in isolation is quite a challenge and you've done a wonderful job. So please enjoy all the instrumentalists, enjoy the vocalists and have a wonderful evening. And of course, the best of the season to each and every one of you. Take care. Oh, and by the way, I'm Mr. Fernando. If you didn't know, I'm the principal here at Huron Nights. Of course, take care. Have a nice evening. Hi there, my name is Alex. I'm a grade 10 student here at Huron Heights Secondary School. I am pleased to introduce our next act, so please give a warm welcome to Huron Heights Secondary School's Grade 9 Band Performing Renaissance Fair by Robert Sheldon. Friends and families of Huron Music, my name is Liam and I will be introducing our next performance. The next song you will be listening to is sung by our amazing chamber choir. For those of you who do not know, 
Chamber Choir is a group of students from grades 9 to 12 who are singing and performing for a class. Unfortunately, our concert choir could not continue this year because of COVID, so this is our choir, large choir performance for you. The song we will be performing is named Hymn à la Nuit. The piece was arranged by Joseph Noyen on a theme of Jean-Philippe Rameau, composed in 1733. The piece has more recently become popular from the 2004 film Le Caliste. This piece has been lightly practiced by many years in many different Huron choirs, but never performed for quite a while. I even remember watching the film and thinking, what a beautiful piece this is. Grade 10 me never thought I would be able to perform this for all of you in my grade 12 year, but here I am. Under the direction of Miss Charters, please enjoy the Huron Heights Chamber Choir's performance of La Nuit. Infinite options. Four days, one piece. Five grade twelves put together a masterpiece of a Christmas carol to play for you tonight. An odd sort of instruments has brought you God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, Pentatonics Edition. With Jess Walker, the Hummus Eater on Clarinet 1, Emily Fitzgerald, the Guitar Smasher on Clarinet 2, Abby Coventry, the Master Speller on Saxophone, Liam Armstrong, the Joker, on trumpet, and Adam Clark, the Baby Bird, on percussion. Sit back and enjoy what these five talented students can do with four days of panic.
what's in here? There's lots of charts, facts, and figures too. Oh look, instructions for dancing? No. <laughs> Let's try something else. There's music in it. I love when people sing to me, don't you? Well, let's hear from Say Jazz, who sings Book of Love, originally performed by Peter Gabriel, with three grade 12 students soloing, Lai Sedan, Mila Burden, and Madeline Charters. Please welcome Say Jazz. <laughs> Thank you again for joining us this evening. Uh, my name is Mr. Goddard, and it is my pleasure to introduce the next group. Up next is Mr. Nagy's class. Uh, I have had a wonderful time working with this group all semester long. Um, every afternoon, uh, we share music 
and there is an energy that that just makes me smile and I hope you feel the same way when you hear the group um, before we we get to the music there are just a couple of people I'd like to thank uh, there are two EAs that work with this group and I think they're wonderful Tracy Matei and Angie Lopez thank you very much you guys always jump in with both hands and both feet and it wouldn't have been the same without you um, next up Mr. Siu, our new music or department head of music Thank you so much, both for your support and all your help. He's the guy that made all the uh, the sound engineering come together. So thank you for that, Mr. CU. And finally, uh, your favorite cinematographer and mine, uh, our principal, Aldrin Fernando. Mr. Fernando, thank you very much. Uh, you, The time you took to help us out was much appreciated, and the results were fantastic. Uh, so without further delay, we've got two pieces for you this evening. The first is a piece called A Long Way Home by Tom Chapin, and the second is a holiday favorite, Feliz Navidad by Jose Feliciano. Thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy. Coming home, I was coming home on a yellow bus, on a yellow bus, when the bus broke down and stranded us, and stranded us. Coming home on a yellow bus, when the bus broke down and stranded us. It was a long, 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 long way home. So I hopped a train, hopped a train, coming down the line, coming down the line. The caboose came loose. Donald. 
I walked across and left the event. I knew the pathway like the back of my hand. I felt the earth beneath my feet. Sat by the river and it made me complete. Oh, sympathy. Where have you gone? I'm getting tired and I need someone to rely on. I came across a fallen tree. I felt the branches of it looking at me. Is this the place we used to love? Is this a place that I've been dreaming of? Oh, simple thing, where have you gone? I'm getting old and I need something to rely on. And if you have a minute, why don't we go? Talk about it somewhere. Oh, simple thing, where have you gone? I'm getting old and I need someone to rely on. So tell me when you're gonna let me in. I'm getting tired and I need somewhere to begin. And if you have a minute, why don't we go? Somewhere only we know This could be the end of everything So why don't we go Somewhere only we know Somewhere only we wasn't today, is it? Oh. And we're performing. Oh. Oh, that's my job. Right. Well, the Symphonic Band is um, performing two pieces for you today. The first is Three Airs from Gloucester, first composed back in 1969 and written by a man named Hugh M. Stewart. This, the first movement of which, is what we're going to be playing. Um, this first movement has a sort of light, old English folk style feel to it, which I really think you're gonna love. And the second song is was written in 1880 by a man named Calix de Lavalle, and as patriotic Canadians, you of course knew that that is O Canada. Now, one of the funny things about O Canada is that back in 1880, it wasn't seen as a big deal. When Calix de Lavalle passed away a few years later, it w that writing of the anthem wasn't seen as one of its achie achievements. In fact, it wasn't until 1980, 100 years later, or 40 years ago, so that means anyone older than 40 was alive, that it became the official national anthem. So that means that, yes, maybe, probably most of your parents and all of our grandparents were alive before all Canada was the anthem. Now, Enough with my random historical facts. Let's get on to the show, guys. See you later.
Good evening. I hope you enjoyed the concert. Uh, thank you to so many people for making this happen. A concert like this evening doesn't happen without a lot of wonderful people helping behind the scenes. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank our partners at the University of Toronto and the wonderful students that we have had the pleasure to work with in our uh, bands. I'd like to thank Vanessa, Alejandro, Chanel, Brienne. Thank you so much for all your help with our music students and all that you do every single rehearsal. Thank you so much to my wonderful colleagues, Mr. Goddard, Mrs. Charters. Uh, who knew that a virtual concert could take on uh, a life of its own and be uh, so crazy, but guess what, we did it. But thank you for all the great work that you do every single day. On behalf of Ms. Charters, Mr. Sue, and myself, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thanks to all who played a role on both sides of the camera. Mr. Fernando, thank you for your passion, your encouragement, and as it turns out, your technical prowess. Uh, as a group of both staff and students, we are thankful for the support you and the rest of the administrative team continue to provide for the music department at Huron Heights Secondary School. Parents, thank you for supporting and encouraging our students. Um, learning music at home is different. Thank you for providing a, a quiet space for practicing, kind words of encouragement, and potentially upgrading the Wi-Fi to ensure that all the Zooms, Google Meets, uploads, downloads happened with a, a minimum of frustration. And finally, to our music students, thank you for your commitment. Thank you for what you've just accomplished. It's very different than putting on a live show for a sold out house at Markham Theatre. Um, the camera in your phone, your tablet or computer does a, a very poor job of replicating the adrenaline and pride we feel when performing on a professional stage for 500 people. Thank you for persevering and creating your own energy. Thank you for having the discipline and drive to meet the deadline when it would have been far easier just to fade away. Thank you for your part in creating a fantastic group experience that is maybe more difficult but more needed than ever before. Well done. Keep up the good work. Well, I want to say thank you so much for a wonderful semester of making this kind of music together. And I can't wait till these risers are filled again and we're able to make music live. I miss you so much. Until then, have a restful break. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.